Fort Chamberlain is a historic fort in La Vallée du Richelieu Regional County Municipality, Quebec. The fort is designated as a National Historic Site of Canada. Fort Richelieu was part of a series of five forts built along the Richelieu River. Fort Richelieu is at the mouth of the Richelieu River. Fort Chamblee formerly known as Fort St. Louis at Chamblee, Fort St. Therese, and Fort St. John at St. John sur Richelieu are on the way. Fort St. Anne in Lake Champlain is near its source. The forts were built in order to protect travelers on the river from the Iroquois. The region is informally known as La Vallée des Forts. History Fort Chamberlain at the foot of the Chamberlain Rapids on the Richelieu River in Quebec, Canada, was built by the French in 1711. It was the last of three forts to be built on the same site. The first, then called Fort St. Louis, was constructed in 1665 by Captain Jacques de Chambly, to protect New France from Iroquois attacks. After minor repairs, the fort was burned by the Indians in 1702, but was reconstructed in 1702. By then it was already known as Fort Chambly. However with the Great Peace of Montreal in 1701, the war between the French and Iroquois was over. Also at this time the War of the Spanish Succession broke out, and boiled over into the colonies of France and England. Thus, to defend against a more powerful European attack, including the threat of cannons, Governor Philippe de Rigaud Vaudreuil ordered that the fort be rebuilt in stone in 1709. The engineer responsible for the design and construction of the new fort was Josué Boys by the Lot de Beaucours. He also oversaw major improvements carried out on the fort between 1718 and 1720, modifications he felt would greatly increase the fort's defences. For many years Fort Chamblee was the main footing of the defensive chain of fortifications along the Richelieu River, which was the easiest invasion route into New France. However, with the construction of Fort St. Frederic and Fort St. John further south, Fort Chamblee lost most of its defensive raison de tree and so was converted into a warehouse and rally point for soldiers, although the fort was never abandoned. The substantial stone structure which still stands today was lost to the British in 1760 in the conquest of New France, also known as the French and Indian War. Captured by American forces on October 20, 1775 during the American invasion of Canada of 1775-76, it was held until the spring of 1776 when it was evacuated and burned as the Americans retreated southward to Fort Ticonderoga. Subsequently, prisoners of war from the Continental Army, including Colonel William Stacy, were held at Fort Chamberlain until the end of the American Revolutionary War. After the Fenian raids in the 1860s, during which the fort was reoccupied, it was allowed to fall into ruin. In 1882 a citizen of Chamberlain, Joseph Octave Dion, personally repaired and restored the site. In the 20th century the Canadian government recognized Fort Chamblee's cultural and historical worth and undertook its maintenance. Between 1965 and 1985 extensive archaeological digs were carried out, and today a fully reconstructed version of the final phase of Fort Chamberlain is maintained by Parks Canada and is open to the public as the Fort Chamberlain National Historic Site of Canada. Legacy on 28 June 1985 Canada Post issued Fort Chamblee, K, one of the 20 stamps in their Forts Across Canada series. The stamps are perforated 12A 1/2 X 13 and were printed by Ashton Potter Limited based on the designs by Rolf P. Harder, Gallery, Fort Chamblee in the summer, Fort Chamblee from a distance. Fort Chamberlain in winter, Fort Chamberlain 1863, Fort Chamberlain 2002, Fort Chamberlain walls, placed arm and cannon along river, wall along the Richelieu River, Fort Chamberlain cannon, cannon in Fort Chamberlain, view of Fort Chamberlain in Chamberlain, Quebec, Canada, bibliography.
Archaeology at Fort Chambly, by Pierre Baudet and Céline Cloutier, Ottawa, National Historic Parks and Sites, Canadian Parks Services, 1989, McHenry, Chris, Rebel Prisoners at Quebec 1778-1783, being a list of American prisoners held by the British during the Revolutionary War, Lawrenceburg, Indiana. The role of Fort Chambly in the development of New France, 1665-1760, by Cyril Jolinas. Ottawa, National Historic Parks and Sites, Canadian Parks Services, 1983, Dictionary of American History by James Truslow Adams, New York, Charles Scribner's Sons, 1940, Parks Canada, Fort Chamberlain National Historic Site Brochure, 2007, America's Historic Lakes, Fort Chamberlain on the Richelieu River, Amon, Allen, The Siege and Capture of Forts Chamberlain and St. John's in 1775, in the Journal of America's Military Past, Vol. 28, No. 2, Ball 2001, Affiliations. The museum is affiliated with CMA, CHIN, and Virtual Museum of Canada.